Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be taking apart one of these, a Magic Band Plus. Magic Band Pluses are the third iteration of Magic Bands that can be used at Walt Disney World and now Disneyland as well. This version of the Magic Band has a lot of the same features that previous versions of the Magic Band had. Like you can use it as your park ticket, you can unlock your hotel room with it. But what's cool about these Magic Bands is they interact with some of the nighttime shows at Walt Disney World. And there's these golden statues around all four parks at Walt Disney World celebrating the 50th anniversary. So if you have one of these bands on and you wave your band in front of the statues, it plays a song or the character talks or stuff like that. I'm not gonna take apart this one, but I'm gonna take apart one of the, you know, the generic gray ones. So let's see what's inside. This was the easiest part of the disassembly, just unscrewing the four screws. And then I had to start to pick at that main disc in the middle of your magic band where all the innards sit. So I used this first tool, this picking tool, and that didn't work that well. Then I sort of just started picking apart the rubber backing on the back, hoping I could find a way in there. And that really didn't lead to anything. I did find like a little hole where I could see inside and see the, the circuit board. But I had to end up using a heat gun to loosen things up a little bit making and make it a little bit easier to pick apart that main puck. I did use a decent amount of heat. I think actually too much heat because as you'll see later I melted off one of the components but it was it was pretty tough getting in here and pretty toasty so I had to hold it hold that puck with the with the clips the whole time and just use the heat gun pick 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 use the heat gun pick 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 and repeat. Eventually pried it open with something and then held it there and then peeled off the top and then there we go finally end product it was I was pretty excited and then there was a little bit more disassembly just getting the circuit board itself off of the magic band four more screws one of the screws was a little bit of a pain but got everything apart Mickey's seen some better days here but this is the front part of your magic band which you tap into the park or to your hotel room door. I wanted to show you the underside of this because this is actually where the RFID tag is. That This little thing right here is the RFID tag. And it makes sense that it's on this side of the magic band because you touch everything you want to badge into with this part of your magic band. Looking at this side of the circuit board, the first thing I saw was this marking up here. And I have to think that that's the you know unique identifier for this version of the magic band circuit board. Next thing I noticed is there are four LEDs in the corners and there's one in the middle here. And these are the sources of light when you're watching those nighttime spectaculars or going up to the statues and you're you know, your magic band comes to life. That's where the lights are coming from. Now, not being an electronics expert, I did have to look up what all of these items were. And I was able to find a tweet of another hobbyist who took apart their magic band. And they were able to find a charge IC, a memory chip, and possibly an accelerometer. The accelerometer is how it would detect movement. So in this case, your your wrist is moving around because you're waving at those statues. That's how it knows to play a sound or whatever. I'm trying to show you a different angle here. You can see that BG21 right there. That chip I was able to look up and its primary purpose seems to be for uh, Bluetooth. I'm assuming that's how it interacts with the, the statues and stuff is via Bluetooth. Another chip I was able to find was the CWW01. And what I could find online is that this chip handles controlling the LEDs. So the patterns, the colors, this is the chip that's handling all that. If you do have a Magic Band Plus yourself, the first thing you'll realize is that you do need to charge them. So this is the charger right here. And because there is a charger, you're of course charging the battery. So that's right here. You see the plus and minus here. That plus and minus match up to these prongs right here. And this is the container that the control board sits in. This is the Magic Band. 
and the underside of that container is where your charger matches up to. Now I did mention that I use the heat gun a little bit too much. There should be a like a button here. So you can see there's a button there. This right here is the underside of that button and there should actually be a little like thing that pushes down and that thing <laughs> melted off. Now this was probably the coolest thing for me to see because as you approach the 50th statues or you're watching the nighttime spectaculars, your magic band will vibrate at certain points. This component right here is the vibration motor. So if I can do this with one hand, this little component of it spins around. So when you feel your magic band vibrating during the shows or, you know, finding the statues, this is actually what's causing it, this little mechanism spinning around. So now that we know what's inside the Magic Band Plus, we have a couple more Magic Band Pluses that we can play around with and do some really awesome things here at home. So we can use things like those gestures and things like the lights that we couldn't use before on the previous generation of magic bands. Before we can do some of those projects, we need to do another technical dive to figure out how the gestures work, what gestures are supported, and how we can control the lights to do some really cool things around the house and beyond. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna keep up with what we're doing here with these magic band pluses, and I'll see you on the next project.